and gentlemen, few things get me hotter under the collar. Few things get me more angry than scum trying to censor me. And they've got media matters and White House campaigns on record that make phone calls to sponsor stations. They openly try to get talk show hosts off the air. That's why even though I compete directly with, with Rush Limbaugh, I have gone, and Clear Channel knows this, and bought advertising not once but twice during boycotts of Rush Limbaugh. Uh, a, I'm supporting the First Amendment. B, I get about third price advertising when that's happening. So it's also free market. So it's a win-win. I'm all about win-wins, ladies and gentlemen. I'm all about synergy. Uh, and when they try to take him down and, and all of talk radio with it, I then rush in to defend. It's a basic instinct of winners. You understand that? And another man who for 20 plus years on talk radio, syndicated all over the nation, uh, famous feuds with Howard Stern, you name it, Fox TV host, his own TV shows on Fox, part of Fox and Friends for over a decade, uh, multiple hit TV shows. He's now got one of the top three shows on History Channel and just exploding. Uh, and it's a good show I can watch with my family. And so I tune in every Monday, and this is not product placement, I'm not being paid uh, by History Channel, though I should be, uh, to talk about God, guns, and automobiles. Now, the name had Media Matters, and we'll put that on screen in a moment, or I'll pull it up, uh, had Media Matters come out before they'd even seen it months ago and say, this show shouldn't be on, it's another horrible gun show. There it is, Meet Man Cal Muller, the conspiracy theorist star of History Channel's new gun show. And uh, that was one of the la latest ones. They had another one demonizing the fact that he appears on this show and that he's an acolyte and you know, trying to drive a wedge. It's what they do. That's the authoritarian left's deal is they tell you who you can have on air. They tell you that if you don't uh, support uh, turning your guns in, you are a, a, a racist. And again, Media Matters has almost no visitors, but they are the direct talking points for MSNBC on record. And they're run by the former White House transition chief and about, what, 15 other White House people. that, And they have weekly meetings with the White House. This is their, their go-between. They use the IRS to shut down Tea Party, to shut down pro-life. Uh, to shut down businesses they don't like, NSA, spying on the press. These are flaming authoritarian scumbags. And what came out three years ago in Politico? They said, we will even get hired at companies, and we will infiltrate them and bring them down. So we have to run background checks on people to make sure they don't even work with these. I mean, and I think we may have been hit by some before. We're dealing with that right now. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, th this is an intelligence operation we're facing. And they want to bring Drudge down, and they want to bring anybody who isn't a complete communist, basically. Or isn't a, a, a corporate fascist that supports only the insiders like Google and Apple and Al Gore on the board and the Foxcom, uh, Death Nets, and all the rest of it. If you're not part of their monopoly and their crew, you ain't part of the club, okay? And so now they are really going after his show, just like they tried to shut down the Bible. But see, something's happening in Hollywood and TV. The ratings are only for pro-gun, pro-God, liberty stuff. Instead of getting a half million views, you get 4 million views, 10 million views, 14 million views. And so the show has been picked up for a second season. It's already exploding. And uh, just congratulations to Man Cow, because I know he's been in a lot of TV shows in development. He's offered me to be part of that. I've been too busy, but I, I just, it's so good to see him going upstream and just a tire, one of my favorite talk shows. Love being on with him. Incredible wit. He can crystallize things that takes me an hour to say in 30 seconds. I'm not kissing your butt, Man Cow. You're a good first rate guy. And we're, you know, good buddies with Billy Corrigan. and we like to hang out. You're just an awesome, I want to do that. That thing where we do the uh, you know trip to the Kentucky Derby in a in a old Cadillac with Billy Corrigan and like, uh, bring a film crew, but minus the mescaline uh, with our own Gonzo <laughs> journalism uh, down and out uh, in Vegas there. But so much is going on. They're not just going after you; they're going after me, Jenny McCarthy. What is happening here? And does it make you get angry to have these authoritarian blacklisting people that make McCarthy look like an angel? I'm going to tell you a story that I've never told anyone. And you're not going to believe where I'm going with this. I was sitting with actor William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. This, Alex, you won't believe this story. They are fighting over Leonard Nimoy double dipping in the avocado, in the uh, guacamole. This is at Shatner's house outside of Studio City. And we're watching the Super Bowl as we do every year at Shatner's house. And they're fighting over... Mr. Spock double dipping. I just saw it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what just happened? Something happened on the Super Bowl. We didn't know what. 
Janet Jackson's top had been pulled off. Nobody saw it at this party. Ben Stiller was there, and, and uh, Greg Evigan from BJ and the Bear, and Adam West, TV's Batman. And anyway, we didn't really pay much attention to it. When I came into work the next day, the government was against me and Adam Carolla and Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony uh, and any other show, your show, any other show that had an, uh, you know fairly educated audience, left or right, that moved voters. The government went after us. Now, not the urban shows, because they, they weren't worried about those shows. They're not moving people to vote. They're not... They're, 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 they're not wor they weren't worried about They the, staged uh, stuff like that on purpose to then go yeah. after libertarian speech. So, so it, it, just, it was bizarre to me that because Janet Jackson's top got ripped off, so I contacted Stearns. This is, this is what I'm going to tell you that nobody's ever heard. I contacted uh, Corolla's representative and, and Opie and Anthony's representative, and I remember them being on the phone and others. And I said, guys, we've got to fight, we've got to fight for free speech. We've got to all get together. This is bigger than my show, and, I, and I'm willing to fall on the sword. This is bigger than all of our shows. Why are we being attacked? We need to fight for free speech right now. And uh, uh, Opie and Anthony said something that was just, they asked me about the size of my manhood or something, and they, everybody giggled on the phone, and I went, oh, dear God, these morons. They don't realize what's coming for them, and, of course, they've been, they've been pushed off the satellite. They've been marginalized, and, uh, you know, big corporations have, have picked up all of these shows, as you know, you see in our business. For and, nothing. And, and, it's, and it's politically motivated. Imagine Rush Limbaugh, the biggest talk show host on the planet ever, now controlled by people that absolutely hate him. Kennedy, controlled by people that absolutely are... are, are on a mission to destroy these shows. Imagine working for And now companies. you're getting into inside baseball, and this is what I've been told by top executives across the board. There is a move to gut talk radio by design right now. Oh, no, that's absolutely... Look, it's... it's, it's Alex, let me tell you something. It's over. It, it's, it's not. It's already over. And, uh, I mean, you, you know, you and I keep fighting, and we keep... But, uh, look, it's... It, I, Alec Baldwin uh, yelling out homophobic remarks. Ray Dong Chong calling Oprah the N-word. This is fine because they're on the left. Oh, no, he's allowed to say, go to somebody's house and kill their children. That is a call to murderous action. Yeah. And if he says that about my family, I'm coming after you, Baldwin. Yeah. Ye yesterday, uh, the government took a vote, and uh, they decided it was okay for the government to listen in on all of our phone calls. Oh, yeah. And and someone re someone today uh, said to me, well, man, Cal, how did that happen? I said, when I was a child, I went backstage and I saw Hulk Hogan and the Iron Sheik hanging out, and it blew my mind. The Republicans and the Democrats, and I've hung out with all of them, presidents and, and all these politicians, and they do the fake fight on TV. You really do get into all the A-list parties, man, but, Cal, but so you get to see what, it all. What I'm trying to tell you is, well, do you think the government's going to vote to curtail their own behavior? Of course not. It's a pageant. It's fake. And people need to get out of this matrix and realize that, you know, oh, they voted. Oh, and, they're, oh, and you trust Obama to, to, you know, end Bush and all of the rest. To, to, uh, to police themselves, well, that's the great lie. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm done with it. So, so look, we have this little show. It had the word guns in it. It had the word uh, guts in it. It had automobiles in it. And, uh, you know, God and guns and guts and automobiles. And, and uh, so everybody went out, the CNBCs, the MSNBCs, the ABC, CBS, NBCs, name them, the BSs, the government propaganda machines, well, this show is promoting, um, it's going to shove God down your throat. It's, it's going to be about guns. It, it's going to be about big cars when the environment is being destroyed. Uh, everything the show isn't about, but it didn't matter. Lie after lie after lie. And guess what? The ratings have been stellar and America has responded to it. Like you justifiably said, like the Bible, they wanted that show. I, look, I was in, in Hollywood after it, and everybody's walking around going, well, well why did people watch that? Why, man, Cal, what? I mean, they were baffled by it. The fact is, these, you know, these stories are the human stories. These are our stories. They resonate with us. The story of Noah and Moses, and, and these guys don't get it. They'd rather give us another you know, Superman retread with, with you know, 30 minutes of CGI. These, these are incredible stories, and... Look, my family prays uh, together. A uh, family that prays together um, lasts. You, you, become, you become undefeatable when you put on the armor. Uh, we believe that we should be able to protect our family with, with a gun if necessary. 
Uh, we believe in, in big old American cars and American trucks. And, and I got to tell you, we're a little bit racist. We believe in black cattle. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, we, we also, uh, we shouldn't pick a color. We believe in green tractors. And uh, this is very offensive to some people. We don't believe in buying our tractors from China. Uh, so anyway, it's just, it's, it, look, I, I'm just, I want to tell people, new levels, new devils. And if nobody is upset at you, well, then you're not making a difference in the world. If nobody cares about you or your opinion, that's because you're safe. You're going along. You're marching off the cliff with the rest of the lemmings. So well, they really got mad. Devils. They really got mad because the ad for the show shows you and your brother putting on wedding rings and loving your wives. That's, that's, I mean, you're supposed to be running around cheating on yeah. them. Uh, you know, having some baby mamas, uh, you sure. know, uh, smoking, sure. look, look, smoking Kanye, dope. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, I mean, you know, he just beat up somebody, uh, and they said it was uh, jet lag. He was tired. Imagine if you beat up somebody, Alex. Imagine if you beat up one of these pedophiles or creeps at the, at the airport, one of these TSA thugs. Um, uh, you know, you, you, you talk about how these guys are all getting cancer. Well, you know what? They should be in jail. They've all violated the Fourth Amendment. But, but anyway, uh, you, I don't know if you, if you have the story yet today. They just spent $767,000 on a uh, gold uh, toilet. Uh, these people are rewarded. And, uh, of course, if you're, if you're out there saying, God, our taxes are too high, businesses are being hurt, our economy is being destroyed by design. You're a racist. Well, no, you, what happens is then, you know, you get the IRS on you. I've been audited year after year illegally. And it's now all on record that they're persecuting us. I want to play a short clip about uh, uh, Jenny McCarthy. I mean, there's no doubt on so many studies, the inserts of the vaccines say they can kill you or cause an autoimmune disease. But then they go, oh, this crazy woman thinks vaccines should be looked into. And now they want her kicked off the view. It just, even if you don't agree with that, everyone should go, my God, this is authoritarianism. What the left said about McCarthy, they've gone light years past that, telling pro-life groups what they can pray. Let's go to this clip and get Man Cal's take on it. If you're a media consumer or a media analyst like yourself, controversial figures are nothing new. I mean, we know that. Why, but there's something different about Jenny McCarthy that's come up in the last 48 hours that really has received a lot of attention. Oh. Why? Why are people so concerned about this move? Well, Jenny McCarthy is funny. She's a former Playboy Playmate of the Year, but she's been getting pummeled in the media, Jenna, because she is a leading crusader for this utterly discredited theory that childhood vaccinations cause autism. Now, I'm sure she is sincere in that. She has a son who developed autism, but medical study after medical study Lie. has said this is junk science, Lie. including a recent one of nearly a thousand children in the Journal of Pediatrics. And a lot of moms watch The View. Uh, I don't know whether she'll be talking about it on the air, but uh, it, it does have an effect. The, 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 the scare right, that's stories enough. about vaccines. They go on to say she basically shouldn't have the show, and now the Canadian government says she shouldn't have a show. By the way, man, Cal, uh, I mean, there are studies everywhere that vaccines are causing autoimmune problems and doing all sorts of stuff. We've gone from 1 in 25,000 with autism to 1 in 50-something. It's an epidemic, but what about this idea? Because in her own private life, she's made statements about vaccines being dangerous, that she can't have a show. This is, this is wild. Alex, Alex, I'm gonna take a left turn on you, okay? Yes. And you talk about how you want free speech. Can I have free speech? Yes. You're not gonna like what I'm gonna say. The fact is, folks, I know the truth about Alex Jones, and that is that he's a softy. <laughs> and a lot of what you hear on the show is bluster. Kicking around town, kicking around Austin, Texas with him was one of the great joys of my life. He is a kook in a good way. <laughs> you, you would want him at your party. He's not a very serious guy. He's a very fun guy. And around his children, he's silly. He's, he, he acts like he's about five years old, as I do with my kids. And I want to tell you, and it's going to be hard for me to fight back um, the emotion. Because of my blessings and, and, the, and the, the role that I've had and, and the ability to facilitate so, so much communication. Uh, what am I even talking about? Let me, let, me, let me get to it. I've come out of my studio and seen people with 13-year-old girls in baby strollers, 15-year-old kids on gurneys, and they said, man, Cal, I had a healthy, beautiful child. They got the vaccine, and their eyes rolled back in their head, and they've never talked since. Their, 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 their faces went blank, and that was it. Are all these people lying, Alex? 
They're trying to get the truth out. Look, I, and the fact is, I don't know the science. And I tend to think of Jenny McCarthy as a, you know, a, a, a playmate that was very annoying when she dated Jim Carrey. She's been in my studio. She's, a, you know, she's a, a bubblehead. But I think her stance against the pharmaceutical companies is very brave. We used to get one shot at a time. Now they bundle them. And I think for some young bodies, some young systems, immune systems, and again, I don't know. This I don't know. My uncle almost died from a tetanus shot. The doctors admitted it was the tetanus shot. He swole up for two weeks, almost it's just, died. It's just too much for, you know, 20 shots at once in a single dose. And I just think it's too much for some of these young, uh, you know, systems. Japan and, 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 just and, and, banned the Gardasil shot, man, Cal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, and look, look, who, who is, who's crazy now? Um, Elizabeth Hasselbeck is crazy. Jenny McCarthy, who questions... Uh, all of these drugs we're putting into. I, I don't know. I, 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 this, this is some kind of bizarro Orwellian world we're living in. Well, the, you know, they mentioned the Journal of Pediatrics. The Journal of Pediatrics, funded by the government, came out and said mercury is good for children's brains. Do we have that clip? Mercury. We're, we're going to cue it up and play it after the break. But, I mean, man, Cal, how crazy has all this gotten? Alex. Yeah. Alex, if you, if you, if you, if you took your, I mean, I'm just, I, I want to relate this back to you. I've seen you with your children. If you took your kid to the doctor, the kid got a shot and then never spoke again, wouldn't you be smart enough to go, there's a connection? And how insulting is it for all these people to say there's no connection? Something's happened to these children. Well, man, Cal, I read the insert. It says it can do it on the insert. That's, that's what's so crazy is that they admit all this. And, yeah. then, and then they go, crazy people think it can hurt you. <laughs> and, 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 and brother, may, maybe... God, this is awful to say. Maybe it's like anything else, you know, the, the, with the polio vaccine or any other vaccine. You know, there, there are kids that are going to react negatively to it. Maybe for the greater good, it has to happen. But I do think it's happening. Well, I know you're playing devil's advocate, but, man, Cal, the, it, it's causing greater problems. I believe in immunization technology if it's properly researched and applied. The problem is they're putting stuff in there on purpose, and I have the documents. I, I want to come back and talk about the NSA, everything we've talked about now coming true, but are we getting awards for it? No, we're even worse and need to be taken off the air. Stay with us. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound when I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. All right, Eric Mancow Muller is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. You can find his website at mancow.com and on affiliates all over the United States. And he has one of the top new hit shows on the History Channel. Very wholesome, but also funny. Man, his brother could be like a, in Western movies. He's got, they call it in TV, high Q scores. Very uh, watchable uh, and, and sounds just like his little brother, uh, Eric Mancow Muller, who's with us. You know, I don't want to just say on air. The Journal of Pediatrics says that mercury is good for your child's brain. Of course, they've got over a thousand mainline studies you can look up. I say a thousand, it's more like 10,000. Mercury is one of the most studied things out there. You can just type in electrode, uh, microscope, and, and you can see what mercury does compared to all their heavy metals. It causes electro uh, convulsive explosions in the electrochemical brain cells. It's the most destructive metal in the brain. You can find all the different university. Uh, you know, microscope uh, footage of that, uh, and, and we've done this before, but here is KI, but this aired nationwide, because uh, they have news packages that air locally. This was a nationally written piece, but he, he, this aired in Austin, uh, and they say this still. I think the Harvard says right here, mercury is good for your child's brain. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that clip. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. 
There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. By the way, boys' IQs, you can pull this up. Harvard study, by the way, over 20-point reduction. Girls, about 17. And uh, this is going on. It's a fact. They're killing us. And next they're going to say cyanide is good for your child. Uh, and if Jenny McCarthy doesn't agree, she should be fired from The View, man, Cal. Oh, my God. Uh, it's, 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 it's bizarro world, isn't it? What do you think about it? Literally, I used to go on your show 10, 12 years ago, and you even thought I was a kook, but you, you're you know, more conspiracy well, you know, than most people. I mean, come on, man, Cal. It's all come true so far. Wait a minute. Let me, let me say something, okay? Um, I, I want to tell you, there's a, I, I had a moment where I opened up my window. I was on the 35th floor on Wacker Street in, um, in Chicago and opened, opened up my window, and uh, there was a, and I, and I heard a, and there was a, a helicopter on silent mode looking at me, unmarked, and I got on and talked about it, and, and I was insane. I absolutely, I saw it. It happened, and every, oh, he's insane. And now, of course, we take it for granted. You came on my show and talked about drones on American soil, and I thought you were crazy. Um, and uh, you've told me other things. That, NSA, that, chemicals in the water, now it's all mainstream. Last, uh, excuse me, two nights ago, they did the military exercises again where they did the crackdown of the city of Chicago where I'm at. Why is the military practicing attacking American cities? Because they know that the economy is teetering on the brink. Uh, I loved CBS last night. They can't figure out why nobody's buying into this uh, this economy being fantastic, because it's not. All you have to do is drive down the street and see another storefront boarded up every day. You see another one. All you have to do is talk to anyone you know about how, how uh, the, the economy is affecting their family. All you have to do is talk to any business owner about what Obamacare is going to do to the communist health care. Then you question, well, why would John Roberts and others turn their back on their foundation? Why would a Supreme Court justice to go against everything he stands for, for communist health care. It's clearly illegal, clearly unconstitutional. And then this guy sitting over in Russia who got a book deal yesterday, Snowden, the leaker, you know, tells us, oh, they listen on the Supreme Court conversations. So I, I believe that these guys are being blackmailed and controlled by our government. Oh, I want to tell you, I want to tell you about, you know, this special class, uh, the government and judges that nobody can say anything to. There was a preacher here in Chicago. Stay there. We're back in 60 seconds, man. Oh. Stay there. We're live. Okay. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Folks, we're into hour number two, and we've got Eric Mancal Muller, syndicated radio host, hit show, God, Guns, and Automobiles. The White House has openly wanted shut down. It's like they want Jenny McCarthy kicked off the view. Incredible. Uh, finishing up with him before we come back with news and take your phone calls. Now, you were telling a story about a preacher yeah, in yeah. Chicago. Uh, he, he basically said, look, if, if he's in court, he said, if the judge doesn't judge me, then God will judge her. God judges all of us. And, of course, that's a threat, and they want to put the pastor in jail. This is what's happened in Canada, where they make Christian preachers. Uh, everything that a Christian says is hate speech. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. In fact, they want to put him in jail for saying, fine, God will jail. Well, they hate that. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, quickly, uh, the number two book in America is called Zealot, written, uh, everybody's interviewed, uh, this writer, uh, who is a, uh, an Islamo-fascist, uh, anti-Christian Muslim. Nobody mentions that in their interviews. And people are reading this book thinking that Christianity was made up. And he's basically using the line that a lot of Islamofascists use. Two other quick things, Alex. Two other quick things. You asked me what I want to talk about. Here we go. 93-year-old woman raped and beaten almost to death by an illegal. I thought it was only scientists. And the, the next uh, person that was going to cure cancer that was coming here illegally. What, what about all these great people that are breaking into our country we keep hearing about? One other thing. Uh, I was in Kansas City filming the TV show for the History Channel, and I've been all over America. I was in New York when uh, the riots were supposed to break out. I, I, I think it's really a great time right now in America. We talk about the negatives. Let me say something great. Al Sharpton, my friend, he's a friend of mine. We don't agree on anything politically. But Jesse Jackson and others 
have tried to stir up uh, the race hate. That's how they make their money. If We, we talked other, on your show today. Money. You think it's backfiring. Brother, I want to tell you, I th you and I have talked about this. I think it's, I think it's wonderful that African-Americans have woken up and said, you know what, we're not buying into it. We're not going to burn our neighborhoods. We've done that. It's stupid. Not a single white person thinks that Zimmerman is, is white. Um, Trayvon's uh, record is that he had burglary tools in his, in his uh, locker and stole an item. And the suppressed photos on his phone was a gun and loot, reportedly. The guy, look, the guy was violent. This rap music is violent. This is what the culture is producing. Anyway, look, uh, you, the kid was probably doing Robitussin, watermelon soda, and, and Skittles. It's a hot drug here now in Chicago. Skittles. Well, I mean, look at the gangster photos he was putting out, yeah. sporting the full grill and the gangster, you know, uh, flavor flay look. Look, I've interviewed some of the jurors, and let, let me tell you what I've come to believe, Alex, and I want to share this quickly with your audience. Zimmerman would have gotten two or three years. He probably should have spent a year or two in jail. Sorry, I know that offends some people. A, a kid was killed. I wish Trayvon had not been killed. But the judge was so repulsive. And I believe so pressured by Obama to put Zimmerman in jail for 25 years that when the jury said, you know what, if we give it over to this judge, she's going to put him away for 25 years. She's going to put Zimmerman away forever. And we can't do that. Had this judge been reasonable and not so obviously biased. That's what Jimmy Zimmerman, Carter said. Yeah, they overcharged him. They overcharged him. Wasn't That's that exactly judge right. just a giant pile of Bravo Sierra? What's that? That judge looked like a giant steaming pile of Bravo Sierra. She looked like something that Jabba would poop out. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, uh, that's good. I'm going to steal that Jabba poop. <laughs> so, all right. Well, brother, listen, I appreciate your, uh, your, your props on the show, and, and you're a tough critic, so I appreciate it. And it, Look, it's, it is about family, and I think, you know, crazy people in Austin, just like in Chicago, we believe in, uh, in family. And, exactly. And listen, yeah. you've offered me in these TV pitches to be part of it. I'm always just too busy, and I don't believe they're going to give me a show. I've been offered a bunch of others in the contracts, but... It's, it's too controlling, but I, I love appearing in shows. What happened with Jesse? Uh, he didn't want to do it anymore, and they offered me that show, basically, and other shows. And they're all good guys, but that, you don't control it, so so that's basically why I, I didn't do it. You know how much work it is. I don't know how you do a daily radio show and do these shows. It's, it's, it's tough. Well, my brother films seven days a week. I film three days a week. I haven't seen the show because it's too personal for me, but... Uh... Uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Well, the episodes are getting better. The first one was pretty good. The, the third one I've seen, it's just, it's awesome. Man, okay. Cal, we'll talk to you soon. Man, Love Cal. You, brother. Keep, man, keep up the good fight. Let me say bye to you during the break. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I-beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Infowar.